Without the blaring lights and the hustle and bustle of the city, the silence could make one's hair stand on end. Soon after, she heard the sound of an engine running getting louder as it approached from the distance. A vehicle halted in front of the villa and its engine turned off. At that moment, her usually calm heart suddenly tightened as she felt an unprecedented nervousness and restlessness. When the footsteps walking up the stairs grew louder as they drew closer, she could no longer maintain her calmness. As she was feeling uneasy, the door flung open. Along with the sound of steady footsteps, Yan Shishi could sense that someone had come in and stopped by her bedside. She was absolutely nervous by now and promptly sat up on the bed. He, he's here. She was on tenterhooks when one side of the bed slightly dipped a clear indication that someone had sat on it. Yan Shishi, who was feeling perturbed, leaned her back against the wall for support. She felt absolutely awkward and was glad that in front of her was stifling darkness. She could only barely make out a towering figure before her, yet her heart still beat with helplessness. Although she could not see his face somehow, she was able to sense his strong, overwhelming presence, especially his cold line of sight. He had the air of aggressiveness unique to a ruler, as if he were a noble, arrogant overlord. As for her, she was just like a tribute brought to him in ancient times. Yan Shishi opened her mouth and spoke in a somewhat vague manner. You, who are you? The man remained mum. He moved his body and slightly bent forward, leaning closer toward her. Yan Shishi only felt his looming presence get nearer. Immediately, the imposing figure pressed down on her and completely imprisoned her under his body. Her body shook from the effort of withstanding his body weight. She curled up into a ball, and then she was no longer able to move. She nervously held her hands before her chest. She was nearly suffocating. Not waiting for her to react, the man narrowed his eyes and pulled her clothes straight up. Her soft, milky white skin was exposed to the air. Suddenly, his large hands delved in. Wait. She exclaimed with a trembling voice. I, may I take a look at you? Why? His youthful yet deep voice was akin to red wine, rich and mellow. It was a husky voice that could draw people in. I can't see anything. I'm scared. He scoffed and with an extremely deep voice said, You don't have to look and you don't have to be scared. The girl's delicate body had yet to develop fully. She was still so pure, and her slender waist could easily be held in his one hand. His icy fingers rubbed her lips harshly and played around with them non-stop. Just close your eyes. How delightful the tender touch was, just like silk. His fingertips were a little moist and chilly, and when they came into contact with her warm skin, she could not help but shrink a little. The darkness in front of her eyes only made her more afraid. Add body his thin lips left her body. He apparently thought that her one piece was in the way, since he tore it apart in the next second. His near-violent moves made Yan Shishi stiffen. She dared not move recklessly. Her heart beat thunderously in her chest. It was as if her heartbeats were forcing themselves out from her throat. Shame. Panic. Fear. With all these emotions weighing on her, she could hardly breathe. It was at that moment that she started to regret her decision. She initially thought that she could do it. It was just bearing a child for him, after all. She might have no experience, but as a woman, this was something she would come across sooner or later. However, facing this unknown yet domineering man, she lost all the courage she had at the start. Right now, she only felt utter fear. She had just become an adult and had not experienced any form of intimacy yet. She had never even held a boy's hand in her entire life. Naturally, her heart was unwilling. Still, she was...